Hey guys, today I'm just going to show you my newest high kappa build. This is my Springfield Armory Bureau Operator. This custom gun was built from the ground up using parts. There was no base gun. Everything about it is custom. So I'm going to go over all the parts that I used and why I have it set up in this manner. So first off, the slide and frame are made by Airsoft Masterpiece. The frame is the railed version of the 2011 style frame. And the slide is the Springfield Armory Bureau slide, which is new, came out not too long ago. Both the slide and frame, as well as the furniture, including the slide stop, thumb safety, and grip safety, are Cerakoted. The frame is Cerakoted in a custom gray color with a mix of two colors. And the slide is graphite black, as well as the furniture. The grip I'm using is a Tanya Koba tactical grip made by Garter. The trigger is an Airsoft Masterpiece three-hole trigger used in conjunction with the Airsoft Masterpiece steel trigger stirrup as well as a Airsoft Masterpiece leaf spring. The main spring housing houses a UAC competition just adjustable hammer spring. I'm using 150% Garter spring just to push the slide as the Cerakote finish has introduced a little bit of friction between the slide and frame as it is very tight. As you can see there is no wobble whatsoever between the slide and frame. Also using the Airsoft Masterpiece straight barrel with a barrel bushing setup and a full length guide rod. Inside I'm also using Airsoft Masterpiece brass hop up unit with a 9 ball rubber and a Tanya Koba twist inner barrel. The sear valve knocker are by Airsoft Masterpiece which came with the frame. Also using a steel disconnector set made by Airsoft Masterpiece. The blowback housing is UAC. The nozzle is a WE upgraded nozzle. And the hammer you see is a SFA style hammer made by Nova. The sights are UAC tactical sights. The rear is the lightweight aluminum sight and the front is the UAC fiber optic front sight. We're going to do a test fire. Gun is short stroked using a JLP shock buffer as well as an AIP uh, spring. So it uses two springs. The AIP is a secondary spring on the recoil guide rod. So the gun will not lock back. As you can see though, the slide is a little bit tight. As it comes forward, it's a little slow. You can kind of hear it. Let's test fire. Trigger is very nice. Still can be a little better, but just from putting it together and just tuning the grub screw for the trigger, you get a pretty decent trigger out of it with minimal tuning. Let you see the trigger reset. Pretty nice trigger. That, my friends, is my new High Kappa Custom. If you have any questions on this build, post down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.